my dear friends today we continue reflecting on the book of acts chapter 13 verses 26 to 33 and gospel of john chapter 14 verses 1 to 6 although all of the first christians were jews Paul and other preachers did not succeed in winning a mass conversion from among their own people. That means among the Jews. The purpose of their preaching was to give acceptance for what Jesus himself proclaims to us in today's gospel. That he and the Father are one. Do not be worried and upset. Believe in God and believe also in me. There are many rooms in my Father's house and I'm going to prepare a place for you. I would not tell you this if it were not so. And after I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to myself so that you will be where I am. You know the way that leads to the place where I am going. Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way to get there? I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except by me. Now that you have known me, you will know my Father also. And from now on, you do know him, and you have seen him. Lord, show us the Father. That is all we need. For a long time, I have been with you all. Yet you do not know me, Philip. Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. Why then do you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe, Philip, that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words I have spoken to you do not come from me. The Father who remains in me does his own work. Believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Jesus is God in the flesh. Came among us as our Savior and the light of our lives to guide us in our journey towards the Father's heavenly kingdom. We should not be surprised at the lack of success experienced by Paul since even today in our society, in reality, many do not accept Jesus Christ. Many put their confidence in many other things than Jesus. Christianity is not meant to be a door or sullen approach to life. Rather, there should be a joy within us as we attempt to follow Christ towards eternal life. A Christian should be a person of joy, happiness, serenity. Our religion, Christianity, should be seen in the way we present ourselves.